Hammer down. Dude, nice takeoff, dude. <laughs> Just as I suspected, it rides like a freaking dream, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, watch our other videos, you see how rough this yard is. So right out the gate, you hear all the squeaking. Like, look at this thing. On gravel, I mean, she ripped, she grabbed hard. That wasn't even full braking, dude. That was just a, that was a little toy. Yeah. Sure, dude. This thing's got great pickup. It does. It's super smooth. Hey, we're gonna come. We're gonna come hauling around and let's uh, see how this thing stops in the snow. It said seven foot braking distance on dry pavement. At full speed? Yeah, let's do a lap around the building and we'll come right here and we're gonna we're gonna hit about right there, you know, just past your car in that snow. Try to get as much speed as I can around the yard, which with the drivability of this thing isn't this isn't hard to do. No, oh. just hammer it up. This thing taking a 20 miles an hour turn through our rough yard, dude. Oh, yeah. 20? 20? 20? Right, 20 here we go. 20 right miles an hour. 24 miles an hour on snow. I mean, you can see that we applied hard brake right here 14, 15, about 16 feet in snow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. About thirty feet. But look I'm at snow. it. Look at the front. Look at the front locking it up. Yeah, I mean she definitely. I, hey, again, guys, I'm a strong, strong believer in hydraulic brakes. Once you have them, it's hard to go back. Let's do it again on the. I don't. Maybe the salt will. Yeah, see. we. Uh, so we made a little surface over here because we had the snow and we uh, trying to dry up the ground because we want to give you more of an honest stopping power here too. Damn. 20 miles an hour again. You stopped, you started right here. 9, 10, 11, about 12. So three feet shorter. But I wouldn't I wouldn't actually classify that as clean pavement. I mean it's I know. It's salt and gravel covered, but And it's wet too. Just the reaction of the braking, even driving it, you know, that whole front of the cart just dips down. Yeah. I think what you should go do right now is I think you should go hit the RXV and do the same test. Yeah, you want to put the RXV up against it right now? Yep. All right. Yeah, let me go grab the RXV. All right, boys, I'll be right back. I know it's not going to be a 100% comparison. She just hooks. Woo! Hammer down, fellas. Hammer down. I ain't ever lifted. It grabs those turns. So nice. I could keep up with them. Maybe I need to go get the ripper out here. This clearly is not a fair fight. I'm not even lying to you guys. This thing rides amazing. Clearly it's not a fair fight. You're you're pulling away from me. Well, I mean you got you got street tires as well. Nice. I'm not spinning though. Hit it. 
I, it's it's a guaranteed pull. I think it's the rye. You got front coilovers, but you got rear leafs. I know you. that ride is rough. I, you're pulling me. You're, you're just ripping away from me. Go. Look at this thing jump just right up on him. Hammering down. Full throttle. Hammering down. Out of lift. Oh, look at the ice. It just, it just it zooms away. It just gap. I'm not thing. trying to say it's going to be a, a, a good race because it's not. I'm actually going to switch her out and uh, I'm going to step up into our ripper. This ain't a real fair fight. No, and that's, I thought it would be, but it's not. That's I mean, turned it's, up. It's really tight. I'm going to pull that out first. I like those superior driving skills, brother. I want a good, just a good speed, just a good consistent speed. Well, I know you'll beat me, but I could do, I could sustain 20. I stopped a little earlier than you though. <laughs> Woo! It's cold! I don't think that was a good break test, so yeah, sure. You wanna get another one? One more. Another sure. one. How fast is your reverse? Five miles an hour. Six miles an hour. Oh shit, I'm coming. Ooh, what's she doing? Oh, you're spinning too. All right, spinning ain't winning. Nope. So you see his, you see his little block there. Yep, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. I gotta go. I'm gonna try to just right. keep. Try to pedal it. Come on up. I am. Come on up. Three, two, one. Stop. I mean, it's definitely a whole. Whole cart. Yeah. And we were only doing what, 15 or? Tops. Yeah. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to the back and do that hill test. All right. Oh, we did have people. We had three people on. Yeah, we videoed and everything right on. We videoed it right on here. Yep. So, let's get her going again. <sighs> hill test. Oh, dude. No problem, dude. <laughs> that was no problem at all. Steepest part's probably right here. Yeah, let's get lined up and go on that now. Even the, just the, coming down on that angle of terrain. Yeah, it just felt nice. Let's try to hit this. I'll try to hit this in the center here, this, this. A nice hole right there. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, will she climb out? Yep. I mean, just to stay, but you know, it's still stable here. You know, I feel real good on this thing. Even coming down, like, yeah. I mean, she's holding. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I mean, all in all, I am too. Should we do the long hill test? I mean, I think it's got it all day. Ooh. This is a solid cart in my book. Yeah, I, oh, it's a, I think it's 100% better than Evolution. I mean, hands down. 100% better. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down here. See what it okay. does. Pulls the long hill. Right up. I gained a mile an hour, seven miles an hour. That's pretty solid. Oh. 
Oh, doesn't have the power to come up though. I'm pretty impressed with the cart overall. You know, we just got back from testing and everything. So Brad, what do you like? Let's talk about the icon. How do you feel about the icon? Well, like, first I think handling, because really to me, handling and braking is one of my biggest things. And I truly, truly think this cart really handled well. It braked really well. I mean, for the yard, I mean, we've, we've tested a lot of stuff around here yeah. and there's just some stuff you just not you just don't have that comfortability or confidence in it. And I honestly really think the Icon killed it. I mean, I do. I think I think the uh, the suspension overall. We talked about it, but on them coils. But in the video, you seen like when I was going around the yard, 20 miles an hour around that corner. Uh, we kind of struggled that with the evolution. We we struggle it with even the shop cart. Just that I don't know what it is. Other than the only thing difference on this is this is on a coil over. It was really good. So yeah, <clears throat> suspension, performance, rideability, all checks in great. Yeah, it went up the hill nice. I mean, you you seen it, you felt it. I mean, it, yeah. and even up on that hill and on that grade, you know, it, it did. It, it was handled confident. very nice. Uh, the performance-wise, even with this thing with lead-acid batteries, we were hauling pretty good. I felt like we had pretty good takeoff. Uh, it, it's not a real acceleration out of the hole. It's not gonna right. like spin the tires, but it kind of it gets moving. It gets I, moving quick. Right, and I think there's more you could do to this to turn this up, to, to get that more of that excitement feeling out yes. of the hole. Okay, we took the easy go and we had that four kilowatt motor versus the five kilowatt motor. Maybe not an exact 100% test, but we did see there that this thing pulled on it pretty yeah. good. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I felt almost embarrassed. I had to go get the Red Ripper because we were trying to get some really good sh shots of this and we couldn't even keep up with it. So yeah, I agree. Now let's talk about price point. You know? Okay, so price point, right now, you know, things are fluctuating up and down, so we, have, we don't know where shipping is at. This is how things are going right now in the market. So just but a rough line. Right now, we have this listed for 10.5. Okay. 10.5 I mean, is, is the price point on the cart. Yeah, I think you're getting a lot of cart for 10.5. I mean, the suspension, you've seen how much, you know, structure that there is in it, and I, I feel kind of confident with it. I really wish we had the Evolution cart here still. I know. Because they together, I really think she would come out on top. But we do got some new carts coming in and uh, some other vendors, and we will uh, definitely show you guys, give you what you want, you know? Yeah. We're gonna keep trying to test this kind of product, these kind of things. We're gonna try to do carts, light kits, seats, all the new things coming out. The golf cart market's changing so fast, we're excited about it, and yeah. this is why we wanna bring to you, so. Subscribe, like, if you want to know more stuff about your accessories or the carts themselves. <laughs>